Do you really want to be the RSO? You must ask yourself that question. Before you accept the responsibilities of the RSO position, the spotlight will be on you. You cannot cut corners or attempt regulatory end-arounds. The regulatory agency is delegating the responsibility of protecting public and property to your shoulders. Your actions will be viewed and scrutinized by everyone around you. The Notice to Employees poster tells your workers about their rights and how to notify the regulatory agency if they see you or your radiation safety program in violation of the regulations. If you let them see you skimp on a rule or regulation today you may regret it in the future. Today's happy employee may be tomorrow's disgruntled employee, one who is looking to get back at you or the company at a later date. You must also not let senior management compromise your duties and authority. The following videos gives a reality check to those considering the RSO position. 1. What is a radiation safety officer, RSO? And what are his, her duties? 2. What does it mean if you agree to be named as the new certified radiation safety officer, RSO? 3. How much knowledge do you have to have? 4. Do you have the time and resources to be an RSO? 5. Do you want to be an RSO? 6. Do you have the cloud in your organization? All answers you can find in next videos. Thanks for watching.